the shamrock. You might think back to Ireland around the 5th century. During that time, St. Patrick, he was going about the business of introducing and establishing Christianity among the people. Isn't it funny how nature has a way of revealing deep symbolism on a simplified level? How so? Well, in my experience and in yours, we found nature is composed of pure consciousness. So that means the message we receive from nature, they're also very pure in the consciousness of life, the living God. St. Patrick, he must have understood this legend. And he indicates he, he utilized and he took that clover, that shamrock. And he illustrated by using the shamrock of the Christian Holy Trinity, St. Patrick. St. Patrick's Day, everywhere. The wearing of the green, the shamrocks, the luck of the Irish, Aaron Gobron. St. Patrick had a passion for faith in the people of Ireland. When he cleverly found association in, in every leaf of the clover, with the aspects of the Holy Trinity. The Shamrock as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Apparently, the spiritual teaching tool caught on and it spread everywhere. And it came ironically connected to St. Patrick and his spiritual passion. Even the ancient Celtics revere the clover because of the trinity and of its leaves, too. These people had a deep understanding of their connection with nature. And the Druids and all those people back then understood the meaning of the shamrock. Shamrocks and clover became a real source for the animals also and the livestock. Let's have a moment to think about the shamrock as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A deep symbol of St. Patrick. A symbolization of Christianity. Of true Christianity, the Trinity. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is Psychic Brenda Bradshaw. Here today to talk about the shamrock.